The Cold War marked the beginning of one of the most intense arms races in history. Aerial warfare quickly became a crucial element, with nations competing for the fastest fighters and bombers capable of carrying the most destructive nuclear weapons. On November 11, 1956, the U.S. Air Force's first operational supersonic bomber, the Convair B-58 Hustler, made its first flight. Considered a technological marvel at its introduction, the B-58 was designed to fly at high altitudes and supersonic speeds to evade Soviet interceptors. However, the introduction of Soviet high-altitude surface-to-air missiles shortly after forced the B-58 into a low-level penetration role, which significantly reduced its range and strategic value. As a result, the U.S. Air Force retired the B-58 just 14 years after its first flight. In today's video, we will explore the rise and fall of the Convair B-58 Hustler. Let's dive right in. The B-58 was developed in the 1950s for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. During this era, U.S. fighter and bomber designs were based on a straightforward defensive strategy. If the enemy couldn't see you, they couldn't shoot you. The Hustler was created with this strategy in mind, requiring both high speed and the ability to carry nuclear weapons. The design incorporated the contemporary Delta Wing, common among fighters of the time, but Convair managed to give it an even more futuristic appearance. The B-58 featured a long, slender fuselage with a distinctive delta wing. It was powered by four General Electric J-79 engines mounted under the wings, enabling it to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.2. To handle the heat generated at such high speeds, the crew compartment, wheel wells, and electronics bay were pressurized and air-conditioned. The B-58 was also one of the first aircraft to use aluminum honeycomb panels extensively, which involved bonding outer and inner aluminum skins to a honeycomb core made of aluminum or fiberglass. The Hustler also achieved more world records than any other fighter or bomber aircraft, making it a record holder in its own right at that time. It set 14 world speed records in international competitions and a total of 19 world speed records, including several coast-to-coast -coast records. All these features contributed to the B-58 structure, making up only 13.8% of its overall gross weight, a remarkably low figure compared to World War II bombers. One unique aspect of the B-58 Hustler was its lack of a traditional bomb bay. Instead, it carried a single nuclear weapon beneath the fuselage, along with additional fuel in a combined bomb and fuel pod. Later, Four external hardpoints were added, enabling it to carry up to five weapons. The B-58 was designed to fly at high altitudes, which influenced its overall design and performance. The high operating costs made conventional bomb delivery impractical. Despite these limitations, the B-58 outperformed competitors like the Boeing B-47 Stratajet and was frequently chosen for both high- and low-level bombing exercises. In fact, despite being a strategic bomber, the Hustler was years ahead of its time in technological innovation and could outmaneuver, outturn, and outclimb most fighter aircraft of its day. Despite its impressive design and capabilities, the Hustler ultimately fell short of expectations. While it could fly faster and higher than its counterparts, it was far from flawless. Out of the 116 B-58s produced, 26 were lost in accidents, resulting in the deaths of 36 crew members. The aircraft proved to be less stable than anticipated and more prone to entering spins. Its unconventional landing and takeoff characteristics also posed challenges for pilots. Additionally, advancements in Soviet surface-to-air missiles in the 1960s compelled the B-58 to transition from high-altitude supersonic penetration to low-level penetration and high subsonic speed runs, just below Mach 1. This shift significantly reduced its strategic value as a supersonic bomber. Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara ordered the retirement of the Air Force's Hustler fleet in the mid-1960s, with the phase-out completed by 1970. In its 10-year operational era, 
the B-58 never dropped a bomb or engaged in combat. Although the Hustler is celebrated as a symbol of Cold War aviation, it also underscores the rapid evolution of technology and its profound effects on strategic doctrines and operational realities. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more daily content.